Uh, no, because you pick up number two off the conveyor belt, Cordy man. So you're holding number two and you're subtracting, uh, one from- Oh! You're right. Well, maybe- No. Hang on. I need to look at what this command does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. So, what does the- What does the subtraction command do? I- uh, Well, it would be nice if it told me. I've been using it correctly, but I guess I got it, uh, mixed up. If your inbox is alpha, uh, whatever. Optimization challenges, tell me more. Oh, right, right, I drag sub onto this little thing to see what it does. Subtracts the contents of a specific tile on the floor from whatever you are currently holding. So I'd be grabbing... Ah, I'm subtracting... So I would be holding number two and I'd be subtracting one from it. That's what I've been thinking. I don't know if I haven't been saying it or not. <laughs> Let's go to the exclusive lounge. Yes, I've always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. For every two things in the outbox, send a zero if they both have the same sign. Send a one if their signs are different. Okay. So... If they're different... Then when we multiply them, we would get the same... We would get, um... So negative times a positive... Is... A negative. No, a negative times a positive. Yeah, so negative times a positive is a negative. And then... How does that help me, though? You subtract the held number command from the places number. No, Cordy, it's the other way around. You subtract... Yeah, you subtract... Um, you subtract the, the tile from what you're holding. I think you have it backwards. <laughs> okay. So, send a zero to the outbox if they're the same sign. Both positive or both negative. Send a one to the outbox. So, we want to multiply the two numbers together. And then, if the numbers are... And then, if the result of that is positive, then I want to put a... A zero out. If the result of the multi of multiplying the two numbers together is negative, then I send a 1 out. Okay, so... How do I multiply two numbers together? Well... Um... Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. So I have to write a multiplication routine. So we copy the first value into 0. Or into 0, and then... Say I'm holding a zero and there's a four on the floor. The command would be four minus zero. Subtract the contents from the tile on the floor, whatever you're currently holding. If you're holding a zero, you're subtracting a four from zero, so the command would be zero minus four. I I swear, I think you have this backwards. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is neither here nor there. So I put down nine, and then I want to multiply it by four. So, do an inbox. Oh, man. But how do I do this? Because I can't store... I can't store, like, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I can't do it that way. And then loop if it's equal to 0. Can I? No. Unless there's another way of telling if two numbers have the same sign. Because, if because uh, you know, positive numbers... You know... Well, because if I have a 2 and I add, like, a negative 4 to it, and that puts me at negative 2, you get a number and add a number and add it multiple times. You can, but how do I tell when I stop, Hungry Banana? <laughs> That's the problem. Because I can't, like, store the, uh, I can't store it. Like, I can't store, like, 4 minus 3, 2, 1, 0, and then, like, recursively calculate... Uh, a multiplication routine. Look above your avatar next time you use the sub command. Okay, whatever you say, QWERTY. Um, I'll check it out, though. So. I can't, how do I write a multiplication routine using just the tools that I have? Because I can't just subtract one from it. Oh, god damn it, I can't subtract one from it. It's been sitting in my face the whole time. Okay, there we are. So we pull out 9. We copy that to 0. 
And we pull out four. And we're gonna copy that to well, we're gonna copy that to one. And then we need to multiply nine times four. No, we need to add nine to, to nine. Yeah, okay, so then we we copy or we can do four times nine, and we'll be currently holding four. So we could do we can do either four times nine or nine times four. It'll be slightly faster if we do it um, four times nine, I think. So anyway, so we do nine times four. Uh, no, we do four times nine, the opposite of what I just said. Okay, so we add, um, what do we do? Nothing in the domain of our, of our, um, I'm going to give an example because I want to see if any zeros appear here. If, okay, so they're not going to give us any zeros, so that's good. If we get a zero, a zero is neither positive nor negative, so we can't, uh, so computationally that wouldn't make sense. So they're not going to give us that, which is really good. Otherwise, I'd have to do a check if one of the numbers is zero, and then, yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway, so we multiply them uh, by repeated addition. So we put down nine, then we put down four. And then I need to add from four, copy from nine, which is stored here, and subtract from five to get eight, or whatever it is, QWERTY. <laughs> subtract one from it. There we go. <laughs> Can you not play games that remind you of high school? <laughs> okay, so that will give us eight. We cop we if it's zero, then we jump. Uh, otherwise, we jump back to our uh, multiplication routine here. So I'm gonna run this. This isn't gonna work, but I'm gonna see if this gives us the result of thirty-six. Or if I mess this up somehow. So we put down four. We add four to get eight. We grab not. Oh, crap. Uh, then I need to copy the result of my addition to one. That's not true. That would be doing two to that power, I think. So I need to copy it to... I need to copy it to two after performing the uh, addition. And then, yeah, okay, this works. Uh, after, after I do this, if we do the fall through case, then I need to copy from two. So that picks up what I was. Um, so that picks up what I was. Uh, what I just multiplied. Wow, I'm not gonna lie. This is like really kind of hard to do because you can't see like. You just have to run this thing and then, like, hope that your mental model of what was going to happen ended up being correct. This is mathy as shit. <laughs> so I put down that, multiply that to get negative 18. I grab negative 2, subtract 1 from it. I'm fucked. This is an infinite loop. Yep. All right. So, I didn't think that through. Shit. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. I don't know how to do this one. We'll do that one later. Absolute positivity. There we go. <laughs> Aha! Positive attitudes were determined to increase productivity. And now, and they are now, and are now therefore mandatory. Smile! You have to check for negatives. Maybe. In that case, I'd have to add them. Smile! Management is watching. Send each thing from the inbox to the outbox. But if a number is negative, first remove its negative sign. Okay. That's interesting. So... 
if negative, then okay, first we'll outbox, uh, outbox it. If it's negative, you can add one and not subtract. Yeah, I guess that's probably the way to do it, Hungry Banana. That's what I'm thinking, but whatever. Okay, so we inbox six, and then if it's negative, it's not going to be there, so whatever. Uh, if we have three, negative three, what do we want to do? We want to get three out of that. So what the hell do I add it to? Because I can't... Um... Well, let's see. So if I have negative three, and I uh, add it to itself, I'll get zero. And then if I add, and then if I subtract negative three from zero, then I would get three. Okay, that's how to do this one. So copy six in, or copy th negative three in. And if I add it, I'll be holding a zero, and then subtract, and then outbox, then jump. So if you're down six, we throw that in the outbox. Uh, empty value, you can't copy two with empty hands. Oh, right. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was add a jump statement to restart the loop. So we put down four. Jump if negative over there. So put down negative eight. Add negative eight to... I did this backwards, didn't I? I need to subtract it from itself, then add it. Right? No, I did that wrong. It still isn't quite right. What the hell did I do? This doesn't make any damn sense. Ah, I must have failed my math again. So we'll subtract from zero again. Wow, I don't know how I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. So this should do it. Uh, there we are. Perfect. Exclusive was your favorite round and you skipped it. I, I, did I? I, I, must, I must have messed it up. <laughs> La rabia silenciosa. The, the angry silence. I mean, you know... I got it eventually, Cordy Man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, so that did it. That, uh... Again, probably wasn't the most efficient solution. Hey, I did it in the speed challenge. That's fine. Alright, let's, uh... So, people... Uh...